What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy Behind Video Shout. And as always, I got my podcast partner off in this thing. OG Gangsta Wicked, the Ghetto Mafia. What's good with it, Wick? Man, I'm out here. I don't know if you can see behind me, but I'm out here hunting behind. You know what I'm saying? And and all my partners, they can't shoot, including you. So I had to put me a red vest on so y'all don't shoot me in the ass. <laughs> You lucky I ain't out there with you because I'd be aiming at that red vest right now, fool. <laughs> hey, what? but we, we got a guest off in this thing, man. I'm talking about the icon. I'm talking about the legend himself, the DOC, man. Hey. Doc, first off, appreciate you for spending some time with us today, man. We really appreciate you coming through this thing and kicking flavor with us. I want to ask you about this documentary that you got on the way. I saw you chopping it up with Talia and Kwali about it. And I want to know a little bit more about it, man. What the hell is going on with this documentary, boss? Well, hey, uh, it's a really good film, bro. It's, uh, it's really well done, please, of heart. And uh, it's really more about us uh, than it is about me. I'm just a vehicle that G.O.D. chose to tell this, this story through, um, but but I think you're like it. I think it's super dope. Yes, when is it? When is it? When is, is it out yet, uh, Doc? Or is it? Uh, or when is it coming out for the people that don't know? No, it premiered at Tribeca uh, a couple of weeks ago, and so now we're just trying to find a distribution partner and how how that's how all that's gonna shake out, but. The views are really good. They they called it the hidden views of the festival, and it was just popping. Yeah. What yeah, was well, it look, like? Let me. We got. Can, can, can I talk? Now do your thing because you've been raising hell about, about the DOC for the you last six ask, months. You don't make fifteen questions, bro. Can I talk to Doc? Talk to the <laughs> Doc. It's on you. <laughs> okay. Doc, I want to jump right into. You know what I'm saying? It's funky enough. You know what I'm saying? The formula, the first album. Uh, before you before you get into it, I want to tell a little story. Uh, I was at uh, this rapper named Eric MC Bree house. Didn't know that you was going to be there or anything. So I'm talking to Bree, and I told him, I said, man, I don't made a new song. I need to come out there and let you hear it because I'm trying to get signed by Bree. He said, bet, you know how Bree is. He said, bet. Yeah. So I come yeah. out there. He takes me upstairs in his room. You know, he had a bar upstairs in his room. Yeah. And so he's he down there crunching herb and stuff. He's listening to my song. And at that time, I wasn't wicked from Ghetto Mafia. I was uh, Roddy, uh, Roddy Rod MC. You know what I'm saying? I was a lover man. So I had a song called Take Another Look at Love by Minnie Rippleton. I sampled yeah. that song. So yeah. I played the song for Bree. He kind of halfway. He kind of halfway. And all of a sudden, I look up in the doorway. And I see you. <laughs> and at the time, you were trying to like get to the mall uh, to get like a gaming system or, or something. So you standing there, you standing there like this right here. And uh, so Bree listening to the song. He be like, "Hey man, man, fuck all that. Come on, let's go to the store." So it made me, it made me get in the lab, go harder. I said, man, if DOC don't like my shit, then I need to tighten my shit all the way up. So I want to thank you for, you know what I'm for helping me without even knowing, Doc. That's 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 one thing. Now, second, let's get into the music, man. Funky enough, how did that come about, bro? And did you make a conscious effort not to cuss on records? That's something I tell all these artists right now. To be great, can you be great without nigga, pussy nigga, fuck you, blah, 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 blah. Can you be great like the DOC without having to say a cuss word on an album? Well, but I'm really an old school New York MC in my heart. And back in them days, you didn't do that, you know. The NWA guys kind of brought that in, but, but you know, I'm an old school guy, so I like, I like to just make it, make it be hard and, and wrong, but it ain't got to have all of that, you know, crazy shit in it. Right, right. Doc, you, uh, to me, uh, I, I, I did a, a uh, post one time, on, matter of fact, on this show, and then it went viral, and I told everybody, especially this guy that's on the other end, because he kind of young. 
And I told him, I said, uh, the DOC, what, and I ain't going to say would have, because I hate when people be telling me, we well, get on Mafia would have been, or would have yeah. been, or could have been. The DOC, yeah. the greatest artist to come out of Texas, had he not been in that in, in that accident, not only would you would have been the greatest artist out of Texas, you would have been the greatest art in, in, in the GOAT status. I'm talking about the Mount Rushmore. I don't see... The, the artists that people are screaming that are goats right now, I feel like that you are better than them. Now, I'm not going to ask you, do you feel that way, but do you get love from other artists kind of, you know, resonating the same thing that I'm saying to you right now? Some of the artists that people are saying goats, do they come to you and say, hey, bruh, I know, you know, what the DOC is and would have been if not for that accident. Yeah, yeah, they all do that. They all love, you know. And, and I appreciate it. I, I, it's a blessing. I don't take it for granted, you know. But it's a G.O.D. thing. It's, I play, played my role, and it was significant, you know. Uh, but that was that's the old chapter, which is documentary. You're going to see what's up with the new chapter. Like, if I was going in, watch what I'm going to do now. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm talking about right there. Behind. Yeah. Watch what we finna do now. Hey, matter of fact, matter of fact, you said a line in a song, um, it's funky enough. And I think you were talking about be high. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it says, I am not a jackass, but be high is a donkey. <laughs> You know what? I'm glad you, I need you to wear that red vest when you come in here with, because I'm going to have something in your way. Uh, Doc, uh, let me, I, 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 you know, I can't let you go without asking you about, you know, Death Row. Um, you know, everybody knows that you were co-founder of Death Row. You was there, actually, before I was arguing with my partner, I said, nah, man, Doc was there, you know, with Easy back in the day. And Doc was there before Death Row, NWA, uh, before Snoop them. Um, are you still a part of the death row movement with Snoop, you know, the, as he has bought the label? Are you going to be instrumental in that? Can young artists come to Doc and get signed to death row? How does that work? You know what? Uh, I'm on my way to the airport right now to go up and spend some time with Snoop and Dre. He's going to do it. they doing some Snoop stuff for his, his death row. So we all just family man it like you know, the name is the name. Uh, if he doing it, I'm doing it. As a matter of fact, that's that's what I'm on my way to the airport for right now to go do it with him. As far as, my man. As, far as signing that's the death row, you know what, that's something that Snoop was talking about. Like, I might be able to pre create some avenues for some of these young boys in the South to get in there and get, get them some. No, he don't want no pause of you, Wick. He ain't say uh, he, nothing about your ass. He, he said something. He said something about me in one of the songs. It was a lot different than what he said about you. I'll tell you about that later off camera. Yeah, he he, he gave me love on one of the songs. Um, okay, hey Doc, on the formula, man. When you when you drop that song, which is an all time classic. And I know, you know what I'm saying, that you're doing new stuff and, and we don't moved on. But uh, when you dropped that song right there, what was your mindset back then? What did you, did you one, come up with that? Did you do that track? And two, what, what, what were you at at life at that particular time when you did that? Because it's, it, it resonates right now. Like everybody's looking for the formula. Yeah, that was uh, Dre. Dre had a dream about that record. He told me about the dream. And then he played the Marvin Gaye beat. And I just wrote the dream. Mm, wow. That's like my favorite record on that joint. You know what I mean? That's that's my guy. Hey, you had a song with uh, Feel a Fresh Posse too, bro, talking about drinking. I don't know why y'all didn't promote that goddamn song. It was a song about drinking... Uh, he was, somebody was kind of singing on the song, and that yeah, was man, in your. I, that, that, you was like my, like that was like my second record I ever made. Yeah. See, yeah. you don't know I go all the way back. You know I go back like New Face. I mean, me and New Face. I don't know if you know who New Face is, but me oh, and New yeah. Face. We got, oh yeah, we got, we got, we got. You know your first stuff. 
I got stuff I need you to sign when you come in the city. Because like yeah. I said, I'm a real BLC fan. I'm gonna, until, until they put me in a grave, I'm going to be yelling that stuff, man. Uh, be high. If you got anything else left for the ladies, I already told them, you know what I'm saying, we'll keep it short until we bring him into the studio once he come down here to Atlanta. You got anything yeah. else for him, be high? Well, no, nah, let me get in here. Doc, I know you were talking about battling depression. How the hell did you come up out of your depression? Was it a snap? Or was it a gradual change that you was able to come back and get back to yourself? Yeah, it, it, it's a lot of factors, right? But at the end of the day, it's all, it all boiled down to G-O-D, right? He just stepped in and said, okay, now let's go this way. And, you know, and, and that's what we're doing. We're going this way now. I feel that. Being a mentor to Snoop Dogg, when you saw a young Snoop Dogg come in that studio and you started laying the game on him, did you think he would go on to be an icon in his own right? Oh, yeah. He, he always had that that thing in him. You know, I didn't know he was going to be his, his, I didn't know he was going to be what he is today. You know what I mean? Like, he really grew into that. And he's now he's seasoned his second nature to him. Mm -hmm. He's every goddamn way I die. I go to the store, he's in the store. I drive <laughs> down the way, the niggas on the billboards. I shit, I can't go nowhere without saying him. So, you know, I'm happy for him. He's a great friend, and I'm super thankful for him. Being a Texas boy, finding yourself on the West Coast, what was that transition like coming from Texas to getting down with them boys in Cali? Yeah, it was some bullshit. You know, it was. <laughs> I was fun. It was, it was fun sometime, and then it was some bullshit. You know, I learned a lot and did a lot of really cool shit. And uh, like when you see the documentary, you will feel it. You know, man. I can dig it. I can dig it. Well, like we said, we know you on the run. We gonna catch you if you touch down in the A. We gonna be looking out for that documentary as well. Are there any other things that we need to be looking out for, though, Doc? Hey, man, look, I think G.O.D. is going to act real bad with your boy. Right? That's all I can tell you. I don't know what the hell he's going to do. <laughs> but, it's, but it's way bigger than what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, wait up. don't invite B. High to, to nothing. You invite me, Doc. <laughs> And, and I and my plus one, I'll bring somebody else so you don't have to see his face. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Doc, thank you for your time, hey, Bo. We, God bless you. Hey, Doc, we love you down here in Atlanta, man. Salute, man. God, God bless, guys. Take care.